In this talk, we will explore an ancient and renowned Celtic goddess, the Morrigan. The information about her dates back to beyond the Copper Age. The Morrigan is typically seen as three deities in one, the warrior, the crow, and the battle frenzy. She has long been associated with battle and fate, but also prophecy. Her ability to predict or influence the outcome of battles was well known and respected. She also represents courage. Her portrayal of strength and the divine feminine is unmatched. The Morrigan is a shapeshifter, known to take on many forms whenever interacting with mortals. And, just as the Triple Moon Goddess, she represents the unbroken cycle of birth, death, and rebirth. Therefore, her association with the cycles of nature and the cauldron a symbol of transformation. She is known as the Phantom Queen. She is commonly depicted as both a raven circling battlefields and as a beautiful woman. Many practitioners of witchcraft choose to work with the Morgan because of her association with magic and the unseen. And she is commonly invoked during workings and rituals, particularly those associated with protection. More often than not, however, it is the Morgan who chooses the practitioner. That was certainly the case with me, which came about through my almost daily interactions with crows over the years. The Morrigan is a defender of justice, a guide, a prophetess. She is heavily associated with the Sabbat of Samhain, the Dark Moon, and the Waning Moon. She is commonly called upon while doing inner work at these times. Mugwort and Rosemary are two of the Morrigan's herbal correspondences as their properties include psychic abilities, protection, and purification. Incense made of these herbs, as well as cloves, can be burned when calling upon her. A common invocation of the Morgan is as follows. Morgan, Morgan, three times three. Hear the words I ask of thee. Grant me vision, grant me power. Cheer me in my darkest hour. As the night overtakes the day, Morgan, Morgan, light my way. While many see the Morgan as a goddess of all things dark, she is heavily associated with magic, sovereignty, and victory. Many historians have regarded her as a protective goddess. To modern pagans, she is viewed as an independent and powerful woman. Many, myself included, revere her examples of courage, insight, and the ability to travel between realms and return with knowledge. This was a very brief look at a complex figure in Celtic mythology. I will conclude by playing in its entirety a song I wrote about her entitled Goddess Morgan. Blessed be.